new technology getting old. I'm going to be showing you some new technology that some companies have brought out and I'm going to show you some way better, well I think they're way better, things. So first of all we've got Smart and Electroboard. Now this one up here is a Smart Table where you can have people standing at the top using it. I've used it before, I don't like it the best, but it's still really good for younger kids. This is the new Smartboard 800 series, which I really think is really good. Um, it enables more than one person to be on the Smartboard at once. And this is my favourite one, it's a Smartboard pedestal. So basically it's not, um, it's like a wireless smart board that you can hold and you can still use it and there's also the notebook 11 that I'm not going to go into completely then we've got Apple Apple has made the iPods iPads and all heaps of different kinds of computers like Mac and everything then we've got Samsung who make the tablets the phones and the compute the actual desktop computer itself. Then we've got Microsoft who makes all of the different kinds of software and everything, like your PowerPoint and your Windows 7. And they also make lots of other kinds of things, but they're the basic ones. Then we've got Toshiba. They've got the, um, diff lots of different kinds of computers and laptops. But have you seen this? Um, this is one of the things that I'm going to be showing you after, which is a flexible display glass. It's made out of photovalistic glass. So this is in the near future, about 2020. These are all Android, which means they've, they're in production, but they're way too expensive to buy. These ones are basically like your blinds, but they're made of glass so that you don't have to pull them up and down. And this is their really thin TV that's touch screen. It's like a smart board, but it doesn't have the bulkiness around it, and, it doesn't, and it's a lot thinner. This is the, a mirror that you can use as a, like a smart board, same as a TV, but with a mirror. So you've got your keypad and everything. And then this is your workbench. And it's got a TV and that's and you can just twist to turn your oven on. Most people would think that the tabletops would break easily, but they're very tough. And this is the fridge that uses the same thing as the smart table and smart board. So you can draw on your pictures and then you can have videos going. And this is the different kind of phone, which is a piece of glass. You can see how he's talking to her. And then when he and then when he puts it onto the thing, the image straight away goes over here and you can use it on the table. And they can see you and you can see them. And then inside, this is the car. So they've got all your touch screen part for the car. So you've got your, basically your GPS built into the car and a lot bigger than usual. And you've got your head part that you don't have to pull the blind across usually. And these are the road signs, so telling you about blockages.
and then it goes straight to your car and you can choose an alternative route. And these are the bus stops. So it's got your map where you go and you can select your own language so you can read it yourself or if you can read English. So, and then you can put it straight away onto your phone. And you can have multiple people talking so you can have a meeting with people all around the world. And so what's on this screen, all the people can see. And they've got the table, which you can just turn around and you can, and whatever you do on the table can be seen on the screen. So you can play videos all through it. And these are the billboards, so they have a video playing on it. And then the video you can get straight onto your phone so you don't have to look it up with the big part. And then these are clothes shopping, instead of having aisles upon aisles upon aisles of clothes, they're all taking videos of, and you can turn the clothes around. So you can select your kind of clothes that you like. So you're able to have a look at it from all angles. And then this is the paper thin computer that you can roll up and bend and you just put your phone on it that's got all your saved data and then you can, it's like a 3D con um, map of some sort. See, so it's paper thin and very flexible. And then the movie is able to come out three dimensional. So they might, I'm just having a guess, but there's probably a projector behind it. And these are the paper thin books. So you could get all your magazines and all your papers and stuff.